Do you, do you see? Oh, I see an ear and a hair and an eyeball. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl. Hello, everybody, and happy 25th of January. I haven't filmed at all today. It's already 2.30. Just get checked eBay, and I had a sale of something that I just listed this morning because I've been listing some stuff. And let me show you what it is. It's this Fostoria piece. Now, I did a reel on this on Instagram. I found this. I paid $15 for it at an antique mall. Flipped it on eBay. It sold today for $85. So that was a wonderful find. Um, so again, I cannot stress this enough. There are still things that you can flip for profit at an antique mall. There are. There are. There are. There are. Um, it's what I do for a living. I shop at antique malls. That's the majority of the places that I get my inventory from. And you can still find things to flip online. Now, there could be lots of reasons why. You know, I know that when my brick and mortar was open, I was sick of looking at things sometimes and I needed to clear off shelf space. And I'm like, I see somebody looking at it and I make them a good offer. Or I, we would have a store-wide sale. Or I would mark it way down. So... There are a lot of variables that go into it. So don't think that you can't, if you are going and you know, still check the antique malls for items for resale. Because uh, they're still out there. So I'm going to get that shipped. I went to the post office. I did go to Riverside today. I will, um, I'm going to go ahead and unwrap these things that I bought and I'll show you a little bit of a haul. That's about all I'm going to be filming today because I'm going to film tomorrow. Tomorrow we get to take Mr. Fluffer Pants to the vet. So that's going to be fun. Squeezing his little fluffy butt into his carrier. I've listed today. I, what else did I do today? I don't feel like I've done a whole heck of a lot. I really need to film for the Misty Show. I still haven't done that yet. I need to get on that. Oh, one thing that I did buy today at Riverside and I'm probably just going to have to make this its own uh, video. I bought a Booth 16 mystery box. It is very heavy. So we will open that up. That's probably going to be its own video. I also want to go through all these cabbage patches. So I don't know how to, how to do that. But I've got, I want to go through them. I've got four bags. I need to separate the ones that I want to keep and go through the doubles. This is what I bought from Riverside. So let me get it all unwrapped and then I will show you my little haul. All right, let me show you my haul, my haul from Riverside. So I got this little Joseph, little bear. He's holding his little football. He's ready for the Super Bowl. He just hopes both teams have fun. Right, bear? That's what we hope. And I also picked up this little Joseph deer. Couldn't resist this little sweetie. I think it was like 2 or $3. And then, I, well, I'll show you him in just a minute. But I got this chalkware uh, birds. I thought they were really cute. This one's just been born. But I like how they have like a little bit of a pearlescent hue to it. These are marbles. But... They glow like the Dickens they do. Ooh. So we got them. We, we found our marbles. Good news. We didn't lose all of our marbles. We have a couple of them left. Um, oh, I cannot believe. Okay, so these are the heart bottles that I collect. I have both of these, but I'm telling you what. These, I'm going to bring them to Tuesday's sale. They look so good in your Valentine's Day displays, y'all. I'm just telling you, they're great. So um, I'm going to work on doing a little uh, display with mine that I have at home, but I'm going to bring those to Tuesday sale. I did pick up a couple. I'm going to do these as giveaways on Tuesday. Um, it, they're locally made soap that I got from Riverside. And she got these cute little bags. It, I love using this on my face. So I'm going to do those as giveaways. I'll show you him in a minute. I did, I paid $50 for Mr. Toodles. This is the cream and sugar made by Inesco. And it is in excellent condition. No chips, no flaws on it with the spoon. So that, that was a great kitschy find there. 
And then I got the, I couldn't resist this. Look at how cute this vintage sweater is. It's a child's sweater. It is a 7-8 traditional crafts heritage. But look, it's got a little, a little clover on it. I don't know. I just thought that was really, really cute. Look. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Couldn't resist this. It's a little cloth book. Kitty, kitty. Nice mama kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Kitty, kitty. Big daddy kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Then two kitties. Pretty kitties. Kitty, kitty. Mouse is fit. I don't know. Kitty, kitty. Go to sleep. Look, the, but the book is non-toxic, so that's good. Meow, meow. And then another meow, meow. Five little ones. Five little pussy cats. Story by May M. Purnell. Pictures by Dorothy Purnell. Aw. May and Dorothy. Were they sisters? Were they more than sisters? We don't know. It's none of our business. But it's so cute. Look at that little pink cat with her bubbles. This is from 1942 Whitman Racine, Wisconsin. I paid $6 for it. I think that it's adorable. That racco needs to go home with me. But I also got the mystery box, which I probably will come into the shop tomorrow and I will open up the mystery box. I'm going to combine today's vlog with tomorrow's vlog. Now I wanted to tell you too that I sold, I have sold a lot of items from the estate sale. So thank you guys all for reaching out to me. You've seen things that you were interested in from the estate sale haul. I have sold, I have sold so many of the items. So that warms my heart that y'all are liking the vintage toys and the Garfields and the, I sold some girly candles. I sold the Holt Howard uh, bird candlesticks. Gosh, what else did I sell? I sold the Putts Church. I sold a stocking, the little wiener dogs. The Boobaroo is pending. The reindeer is pending. The Pac-Man bag is pending, but I've sold quite a bit. Several of the Garfield plush has sold too, so thank you guys. And I've already taken them to the post office, so they're already on their way. I really do appreciate it. All right, I did get one video filmed. I'm going to, tomorrow I've got to film videos and edit videos for the Misty Show because I haven't posted a video for a little, a little while on the Misty Show. So I need to get that going tomorrow and... Oh, before we leave, let's do our, here, we got to prop you up on the, on the thing. You know, wouldn't be a, wouldn't be a motivational thing if we didn't. Oh, wait, let's do the book first. A year of positive thinking. Now, is this boring you? Should I not do this anymore? Do you guys even want me to read these anymore? Let me know in the comments. All right, today is the 24th, right? Or is it the 25th? It's the 25th. Today's the 25th. Let me get you situated on here. Oh, no, you're stuck to the tape. Hope you don't fall. All right, the 25th. True empathy. This one's a little long, so just bear with me. Be wide open to the plight of others unlike yourself. By feeling the range of the ups and downs of humanity, you can crack open your spirit to allow in empathy, but not the kind of empathy that breaks you apart in so many pieces that you can't get up. That is not empathy, but sympathy, pity, shame, or fear masquerading as empathy. True empathy allows you to develop yourself in the truth of others in a way that makes the world a kinder, gentler place. In this kind of empathy, you will find the truest form of grace. I like that, but I'm going to say a little caveat to that year of positive thinking. I don't need to not be positive, but there are lots of people that will abuse people's empathy. Trust me, it's happened to me often. People will abuse your empathy. They'll abuse your kind heart. They'll abuse... Uh, they're constantly the victim and it's just it, that you, that's when you have to put up boundaries. So I agree with being empathetic, but I also think that you have to guard your own boundaries a little bit as well. Something that I'm continuously working on. Trust me. All right. 
Let's shuffle these cards and see if they're kind of in alignment with, with that one. And again, I do put these in as package toppers. I release all negative thoughts about the past and all worries about the future. Boy, that's a hard one to swallow. If you're a worrier like me, you worry. That one's going to be a hard one. This one says, on the back it says, why worry about something that hasn't happened yet? Now, I do agree with that. I do agree with that. When you can just as easily choose to believe that it will all work out. I guess that's just about your mindset, right? If you're already setting yourself up to fail, then that seed's already planted in your brain. So, okay. I like that. Well, we will we will do another one tomorrow, but let me know in the comments. I mean, is this, I mean, do you, I don't know. Sometimes I, I, I like stuff like this, but I don't know. I don't know if you, if you, if you want it or not, you know, I don't, I don't quite know. All right. I am going to, um, get cleaned up. It is uh, four o'clock and I am going to beat Mark home so I can start dinner early. I'm not going to film that. We're just having tacos tonight. We're just having tacos from a kit. Just tacos. Um, actually, Dad and Mark are having tacos. I'm not. I'm having Amy's. I want to let you know that I have moved a little bit of away from Amy's enchiladas. And now I'm obsessed with Amy's uh, pesto. Pesto pasta with mozzarella cheese on top. I cut up fresh garlic, some tomatoes. I'll show you one day. But you have to promise not to make fun of me in the insane amount of cheese that I put on it. You know, I like cheese. All right, I'm going to get going so I can get started on dinner. Maybe have that ready or almost ready before he gets home. And we we started putting together a puzzle. I might pop in and show you this puzzle. I'm not a fan so far of this puzzle. Mark has done the edge pieces, but I'm not, I'm not a fan. And I'll show you why when I show it to you later. Okay, I do have a different shirt and earrings on because I just filmed a haul video for the Misty Show. But I'm going to walk down. I hope that they're open. Um, it is Stone City Thrift. They may not be open because I know that they were doing a store reboot. And they were going on a cruise. No, they're not open. So we'll have to come back in here and see what their sign says. We're closed for reorganize. Okay, January 31st is when they're going to reopen again so we'll have to come back in then i literally have to walk from there to <laughs> right here that's pretty good it's kind of nice but we'll have to check back with them on the 31st Okay, I am home now. So this is the puzzle. Mark did all of this. I did very little of it last night. It is made by the Magic Puzzle Company. And so apparently it's like a puzzle within a puzzle within a puzzle. You have to like, it's like a little seek and find type thing. But there are straight edge pieces down the middle of it. Like that and like these curvy pieces. He likes it. I don't know. I'm ready to, this is our... I think our fifth puzzle. I'm ready for just a regular old-fashioned puzzle, Mark, with actual corners that are actual corners and not corners and straight lines in the middle. This is... I'm not, but the next one we're going to do is just a normal puzzle, I've decided. I, I'm in a different shirt now. I'm in my Kyoto N Urbana, Ohio sweatshirt. Um... I did not get home before Mark, like I said I was going to. He got home before me, and he started making dinner. So, thanks, Mark. Even though I'm not even eating. I'm not eating what they're... I'm not having tacos. I'm having Amy. Amy. Amy's in... I'm going to have Amy's enchiladas tonight. I've been doing the pesto. Let me show you. All right. So, I... This is the newest, best one. Pesto tortellini. The ravioli is good too, but that pesto tortellini is the best. Yum. Good morning and happy January 4051 day of January. No, it's the 26th. Mr. Fluffer Pants. 
He and I are on it, getting ready to go on an adventure to the vet. I know, baby. He does really good. He just doesn't like the carrier. But we're going to go to the vet, get his shots, get him good and checked out to make sure he's healthy. We're going to come back home, drop him off. I'm going to go get my nails done today, hopefully. And um, I need, I have some, I have a, like eight things that sold on eBay overnight. eBay was popping. It was popping last night. So I have to get those things shipped and go to the post office. I really want to go to Dollar Tree if I've got time today. We'll see. But I'll show you the things that sold for me on eBay when we get back to the shop. Are you happy to be at the doctor, Mr. Fuffers? He's so excited. Waiting on the doctor to come in. He always does really good. He's just sitting on my lap. I don't even have to hold him. I don't even have to hold him or anything, but he hates that carrier. That's the only bad thing, but he's going to get his two shots and then we'll head back home. Hi, I just got to the shop. Mr. Fluffer Pants's uh, appointment went fine. His ear is fine. Everything is fine. He had like a weird, a weird spot on his ear, but it's fine. Woo! There we go. Um, just got to the shop. I am going to here in a minute. I'm going to pull the sales that sold for me overnight. But I'm just going to give you. I made an announcement that in June, I am reopening my brick and mortar. The way that it once was when we were open, it, it, it isn't, that's no more. That's no more. I'm taking anything that's primitive, we're taking, we're going to do an auction at some point when I can get it that all scheduled and going. But what we're going to do is any of the things that I am not wanting to put in this space, um, we are going to box it up. Um, basically, we, I, want an, I want an empty slate. Now, the furniture I'm going to reuse, yes, it looks primitive, and I don't like that part about it, but I'm gonna use it because I have it. I basically want a blank space. So, uh, so everything's coming off of the walls. Everything is going to be cleared out in here. And then we'll get the furniture organized and kind of set up the way we want to for this. For It's going to change every time. Here's that. Since I'm going to be doing these quarterly, um, I'm not going to be opened up every weekend. I, it's not going to be, I'm not going to have traditional hours. I'm definitely doing quarterly pop-ups. So for the rest of 2024, there's going to be three of them total. There's going to be one in June, one in August, and one in, one in December. Three. And every time they'll be different. So every time the space in here will be different. Every time there will be different things in here. Every time there will be different YouTubers in here set up with their items as like a meet and greet, kind of a meet and greet pop-up antique mall, if you will. So I'm not going to make any announcements of who it is in any of that, but, um, and I, here's the thing. I will be reaching out to people. I'll be reaching out to people. I'm going to take full ownership of this and I want it to be set up the way that I want it to be set up. So just know that I'm going to be contacting, um, I'm going to be contacting people. I've already been in talks with some people. I'm also here. Eventually I'm going to work with some local people. So it's, I'm at the starting phases of it, but it's something that I've been thinking about doing for a long time. And as I say, when I have a lot of, of you guys that reach out to me and say, hey, I'm wanting to do this. I'm wanting to set up in a booth. I'm wanting to start a YouTube channel. I'm wanting to do X, Y, and Z. And my thing that I always say when I get those emails are, you just have to do it. You could sit and say, I'm waiting on X. I'm waiting on Y. I'm waiting on Z. You just have to do it. You just have to start. So I'm taking my own advice. And I'm just going to run with it. So, um, but anyway, the plan for, uh, the plan of attack, we're going to box up the things that I am not wanting to mess with. 
Um, and then also what we're going to do is just put some of the things that I um, think that I might incorporate into the shop, like some of these items and, uh, you know, I can incorporate some of these items into the shop, but there are certain things that are just not like this bucket of rusty metal. No meat grinder. No, Ro no rolling pins, no primitives. The only primitives that I, that you will like none of that stuff, no baby buggies. The, the only no rusty buckets. No, no, that it, that those things don't make me happy. I know that there's value. L listen, I know that there are a lot of people who really like their primitives. I live in a town where the people like their primitives. It doesn't make me happy. If I'm going to be spending time, energy, and effort on a space that I love, I love this building. I love the history about it. I love everything about this building. I want to it to be filled with the things that make me happy. Now that's not to say that there, there might be some, you know, people that come in that I invite that might bring some primitives and stuff. That's, that's fine, but it isn't going to be in here all the time. It'll be in here one day. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think it's just cause I've just been surrounded by this stuff for so long that I'm sick of looking at it. So that, that's, that's where my, that's my headspace. But anyway, I'm going to go through the things that I think that I can still use for this space. And um, we're going to just get this space all cleared as best we can. And um, we're going to just bring it back here. We've already kind of started. <sighs> I mean, I, I've got a mess. I'm not going to deny that. But some of this stuff, even the things that I have on my shelves... Um, we're just going to kind of load up these shelves with things that I want to still incorporate. And um, these things are all going to go to auction, all these light fixtures and stuff. But we've already started, like this stuff is all going to auction. And we're, I'm going to move my tree because that's mine. And then this space back here, we're just going to kind of reassess this. Like I'm going to pull out that red cart and the things that I'm going to use in the space and everything else is just going to kind of get shoved boxes are going to get stacked and then when we're we're ready to have the auction it'll all just the truck can pull up to that back door and we can just load up the truck and 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 we're good that's the plan i'm gonna obviously there's some things that i'm probably just going to just donate um but we just got to start. So there, the, the, my vlogs will be very much doing some of that. I think Emma and Colin are going to come down this weekend. So we're just going to try to get started on um, clearing out that back area back there so we can get that ready to be able to bring the stuff and stack it up. But I have to still have a workspace in here too. So it's just a lot of condensing, consolidating, and that sort of thing. But you know what? We can do it. I've got a lot of support. <clears throat> we can get done. All right. I'm going to pull what sold for me on eBay. Um, and then I will uh, come back and show you those things. But I, I want to say too, that I know that I say, oh, I'm doing so much. I'm doing so much. And I'm stressed out. Blah, 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 blah. I got a lot on my plate. We're just going to, we're going to prop you up there again on our normal uh, soapbox, I guess you could say. Um, but this is something that I think is going to make me feel a thousand pounds lighter because I walk in here and I'm overwhelmed by the amount of things that are in here. And please just know that a lot of this stuff isn't in here that it's, we've had it for, my dad has had it for 50 plus years and it's just, it's just a lot of stuff from being left over from the, you know, our brick and mortar. And it's things that don't make me happy. I don't. And I won't, I won't bring them to the cell. I won't because I, I just, that's just not the way that I work. I'm not going to like sell anything just to sell anything. I, I actively look for things that I, that interest me and that I, I'm interested in. Let's just say, I mean, I've sold things that I don't really care about just because, you know, they came in an auction lot or X, like the cocaine spoons. Who would have thought? Although that whole story is very intriguing. It's a, kind of like a pulp culture kind of thing. 
Anyway. But this, I think, getting this space set up where I walk in and I don't feel so oppressed. It's a very oppressive in here. And overwhelming. And I think that getting the space and it's just going to be a warm and inviting and fun space. And I can be surrounded in this building that I love. And it's going to be all set up to where if I wanted to, I could just be like, you know what? I'm going to open the shop today. I feel like opening the shop today. And I will. And I could. I'm excited. And I think it's going to be a good thing. And in long term, you know, who knows what's going to happen? Who knows what it's going to evolve into? Um, but I'm excited about, uh, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. So, all right. You know what? Before I, before I, uh, pull the eBay stuff, we're going to do our, oh, and it's not very long. January 26th, our positive thinking. Cause we, we need that, you know? Okay. Ooh, day 26, January 26th, January 26th, karma. How people treat you is their karma. How you react is yours. That's a quote from Wayne W. Dyer. That's right. There are a lot of people, there are a lot of people in the community that aren't very nice <laughs> and aren't on the up and up and aren't X, Y, and Z. And I think that you can't go and, and, and omit that much karma and woo woo and, and, and they're this and oh, don't do that because they're this and they're that. And did you hear this? First of all, you can't believe everything that you hear, even on the internet, even from other, from other content creators who just want to stir up drama. <laughs> karma will eventually catch up with, with, with those folk. And I don't want to be anywhere near him because I cannot stand that. I can't. I just can't. You have to distance yourself far away from people that want to woo-woo and... And they're this. And oh my God. Stay away. Seriously. Stay away. All right. Let's get into a, a positive mind space, shall we? And pick our card. Okay. Make it be a good one. My inner self always knows what to do. Sometimes this comes with age too. You know what I mean? As you age and get older, you start to you start to uh, to know what to do. You do. But the back of it says whenever you may you whenever you have to make a decision, pay attention to what you feel in that moment is your discomfort or anxiety coming out of fear or do you feel as if it or do you feel as if is somehow justified that doesn't make any sense or do you feel as if is i think it's supposed to be it it is somehow justified sometimes you know, you you could be upset and then you'll just blurt things out and then you're and it could be how you're feeling in that moment and you just blurt it out and it could be very hurtful to people. Um I think if you recognize that, then 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 that's and you can work on that, then that's one thing. But if you just are just blurting things out because it's how you're feeling in the moment and you're leaving a trail of hurt people behind you, there's a difference there. There, There's a difference there. But I think that if you know that if you say something and you know that you're in the wrong, it's okay to come back and say, you know, I'm really sorry. I reacted in the moment and I now I have time to think about it. And, you know, I'm sorry. That doesn't mean the person's going to forgive you or will even ever want to talk to you again. But I think sometimes you need to do that for you to, you know, to admit when you've overreacted. You know what I mean? All right. Anyway, well, that was deep. Let's go ahead and pull some eBay orders. Okay, some exciting sales on eBay. I sold Leonardo. Leonardo's going to his new home. And El Toro of Love is going to his new home. I sold Raggedy Ann. 
Raggedy Ann's going to their new home. Oh, also, you know, I had made a mistake and I emailed the buyer of these Garbage Pail Kids uh, and offered them a refund. Never heard anything back. So I just canceled the order and relisted them. So they're still sitting on the shelf. Uh, oh, I just looked at what else was it that sold? Da, 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 da. Oh, Czechoslovakia Bird. He sold. Sold seven things. One, two, three, four. Um, 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 all these things are listed on eBay. Oh, Mini Pearl. Mini Pearl mug sold. And put you over here. Two sets of cocaine spoons. Two sets of four. Two. There we go. Two sets of four of the mixed spoons. Sold to the same person. So that that's going to go out. And yeah, that's it. I'm happy with that. So we're going to get these going. And um, I actually sold a few more items from the flea market that I went to. I sold, let me show you. This, the Putts House sold, the Boobaroo sold, the Dachshunds has sold, a set of girly candles. This is pending. That goes to the blow mold. That's pending. I thought there was something else. If I figure it out and remember, then I'll let you know. Hi. I got the stuff shipped. Actually, well, I didn't even show you, but... I sold another plush from the estate sale, some girly candles. There was something else. Oh, a little enamel horse pin. So thank you guys so much. Again, in all of my videos, I, if you ever see me, even if I walk by something and you're like, oh, take a screenshot of it and email it to me, thrifterjunk or vintage hunter at gmail.com, and I will give you an offer. You know, we can we can communicate. But I'm gonna do something that I forgot about. You're going to sit there for a minute. Let me raise you up on my tripod. Look what I bought yesterday. Booth 16 Mystery. It's a Booth 16 Mystery box. Let me get some scissors. Okay, hopefully I can um, aim my camera down. I got a new... Surprise, surprise. I got a new tripod. You know, I'm going through the... I think I found... I think... Well, actually, Emma found me a good one. I think this one's going to be a good one. So let's see. You can angle it down. Uh-oh. You about fell. Don't fall. There. Now you can see as I'm getting things out. Maybe. Now it might be a little wobbly. There. Is that better? Might be a little wobbly. I don't know what this is going to look like. We'll find out when I'm editing. So, Because you don't want to see my stinking face. You want to see what's in the box. We've got tissue paper that we will reuse. I paid $10. $10 for this box from Booth 16. Oh, we've got a little can of celery seed. Little tin there. We got, ooh, that feels glass. Oh, it's a little cruet but bottle. This will be cute with little florals in it for a display. Like that. See, I'm getting really excited. Because I can use some of these things for displays when I open the shop. Oh, look at that. Wait. I think that's the stopper. There we go. It's got a little stopper there. All right. What's this? A little hobnail candle holder. Cute. Uh, let's see. Here. Oh, I see feet. That looks like troll feet. I see troll hairs. Oh. Doc paging Dr. No Pants. Paging Dr. No Pants. Oh. Dr. No Pants. Yes. You're 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 waiting in the in the ER. All right, I'll be right there. Isn't that freak you out? Your doctor came in and he didn't have any pants on? Or a shirt, I guess. All right, next is what are you? Oh, you're a baby. You're a little baby. Do you work? Oh. 
You do. You even work, little celluloid baby. Okay. Little ba I'm a baby. That's good. This is already paying off. Ten bucks. We've got some sheet music. The white... The, the wise old owl. I have got to go through. I have so much sheet music. My word. I have got to just... Oh, my gosh. Do you see? Look. I just saw. Do you, do you see? Oh, I see an ear and a hair and an eyeball. Look at this. Oh, are you, do you see moi? Oh my gosh. It's a Miss Piggy puppet. Moi. Oh my gosh. Look, she had this listed for $10. This alone. Oh my gosh. Now she's in, she's got, she's in a little bit rough of condition. She need a little, you need a little blowout there, girl. But oh my mercy. Oh, that makes me excited. Okay. This is a plate. Oh, how cute. I think those are little decals on there, like a little mod plate. That's really cute. It's kind of weird though, because they put the hippo and the turtle this way, and that bear's walking sideways. I should have, you know, turned him around a little bit. That would have made more sense. A little slate. I have several of these. I should get these listed. I used to use these in the shop and write like, in chalk like certain things. So I might keep it around because they're kind of nice to use for displays. Ooh, some shelltastic from Florida. Let's put a bunch of glue and glue a bunch of these little shells. Sell it in all our gift stores. That's what they did. Okay, it's in here. Oh, look at her. Are you a teacher? Well, her, her teacher board is upside down. Oh, it just fell. There we go. Little teacher pin girl. That's cool. That's it. Oh, this is another hobnail glass candle holder that matches the other one. So there's a set. We've got some vintage cards. Wedding. Wedding. Some of those Aunt Martha transfers. What's this? Ooh, a McCall's magazine. Who are you? Jessamine West. Her cousin was President Nixon. Oh, this is from February 1969. Don't look through that. February 1969. All right, that's cool. We've got... Ooh, this is beautiful. This tooled leather. No photos in it, but isn't that lovely? That's really pretty. Again, I paid $10 for everything. TV lamps to light the world. It's a price guide book. I don't have that one. And elegant glass candle holders. Another reference book. These are great to leaf through for reference. So yeah, I don't have those. Well, that was a cool. <sighs> we're, we're talking again. $10. And I got all this the, the tissue paper that I can reuse. Well, booth 16, you did good, girl. You did good. I know whenever I go in there and I see that she's got a mystery box, I'm like, <laughs> I can't get it in my cart fast enough. All right, one more thing that we're gonna do before I end this vlog is, let me get over here, because I have one box of friend mail. So we're gonna open that up too, go over here. And I know that this video, let me lower you down. Ooh. This video, I, 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 you know, I was talking a little bit. Now you got to raise back up again. We'll get it together. There we go. I was talking about my plans with the space and stuff too. And it, I'm going to be stressed out. I, and I am. It's a very overwhelming. But I, I just, I have this space. I'm not utilizing it to its fullest potential. And I'm really excited about the possibility of, of you know, bringing other sellers in and 
One thing that's very, very important to me is to promote other businesses in this area. So when I had my pop-up the last time, I created a sheet of like in several counties, all the places that you, that I recommend going to for, for, um, you know, for shopping. Uh, and it, it just helps, it helps small business. It helps other people's business and, and everyone likes to go on a little vintage hunt. So I will be posting more details. I, I know the date. I'm just not going to announce that date yet. <laughs> And honestly, it made me a little nervous to announce something so in so such in, in such advanced time because sometimes uh you know you have ideas and you start things and then somebody else is like, that's a good idea. I'm gonna do that too. And you know, so it I it I, sometimes you have to keep some things to yourself, but I wanted to make this announcement because I wanted to, to. I wanted you guys to keep me accountable. I'm just going to do it. I, I've been talking about doing it, and I just need to do it. So that's what we're going to do. That's that's what we're going to do. All right. I'm going to open up this friend mail. This is from. It says it's from Hooked on Picking. Hooked on Picking, and they live in Trenton, Illinois. That's where Baby Jeff Jeff used to live. I gotta message him today. I haven't talked to him in a couple days. I need to need to get. What is this? Oh, it's a puzzle. Oh, you know what? This is just hooked on picking. Hooked on picking. Hello. They sent me an email saying that they didn't think that there was gonna be a card in here. They sent me a puzzle of cats. Oh my God, and it's so funny because I just said last night that I want to do a regular puzzle with regular pieces. This is the kind of puzzle I like. That it's challenging for your brain a little bit, but it isn't impossible. Mark's big brain puzzles, I don't know, but hooked on picking, thank you so much. This is gonna be the next one that we do. The other one, I don't know, we gotta get that one done. Emma's coming home this weekend, so she'll probably sit and help because she's got a big brain too, like her dad. And I just sit here and I can put two pieces of it together and I'm just like, I, I zone out. I zone out. This is more my style. So thank you so much. That was very, very kind. I love that. Feline tales. And they're all books about cats. I love it. Thank you so much. It was very, very sweet. All right. What I'm going to do for the rest of the day I still need to go get my nails done, but then there's that part of me that's like, no, Misty, get some listings up. Get some listings up. You can go get your nails done maybe on Monday. So I'm, I'm probably just going to do that because I really like, I feel, I'm feeling motivated and I'm feeling like I can just sit down and get some listings because I've been listing things and things have been selling. So also, oh, you know what? One thing that I need to do because I don't know if I'm going to show you before now. But I'm having a sale Tuesday, and I'll show you the things that I'm going to be selling on Tuesday. All right, these are the items that I'm bringing to my sale Tuesday with Michael, the cult of vintage. So we've got some skunks. We've got this girl, too. I just think that she's so sassy. I think she's great for a Valentine display. We've got a Fenton cat, a Fenton Silvercrest painted vase, which I think is beautiful for the holiday. I'm going to sell these three pink depression glass vases as a set together because I think they look really nice together. Vintage val box of chocolates in its original box. More of the Valentine birds. A uh, popcorn cupid. Uh, these are Capa de Monte uh, little place card settings. Some vintage Valentines. A vintage trinket. This vintage hearts game. That bear, I kind of showed you a little bit yesterday and then I forgot. I picked this up at Riverside. So they they're I'm gonna sell them together. Cause I'm like, oh, you look like that one. So those are those are gonna be sold together. The oh, I already showed you the bank. This poodle is fully jointed. It's pretty, pretty neat. The Clemenson's heart string pole. Um oh, this is this little plush it says. I love you. And then the two heart bottles. So that's going to be Tuesday's sale with Michael. Tuesday, 1 o'clock Eastern. Oh, 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 these. These. 
This one is, this is a beautiful book. Now, the cover of it is off. Let me find the copyright date. It has an inscription in here from 1848. That's before the Civil War. So let me see the copyright date. It is the Gallery of Scripture Engravings, Historical and Landscape. I honestly, before I say this is for sure going to be in the sale on Tuesday, I need to do a little bit more research. We've got some foxing and some discoloration on the page there. But it has these beautiful plates. The Judgment of Solomon. See, I'm not seeing a copyright date, but the inscription is 1848. So I'm going to do some research on this one. It's got the beautiful gold pages. Then this one is a, oh my gosh, look at, okay, let's just, can you see how beautiful the cover is on this Bible? It's a German Bible. We've got some condition issues on the spine. We've got the marbled pages this one also has some foxing on the inside of it as well. Let's see if I can find a copyright date. There's Martin Luther right there. 1877 is this one. It's it's all in German. But my gosh, this the display. Oh, that's just beautiful. So I'm going to do some research on those. I may still bring them to the sale on Tuesday, but I, they'll be priced accordingly um, after I do a little bit more research on it. You're going to see this stuff. I'm also having a sale. I'm not going to show you that stuff yet, but I'm having a sale Friday, next Friday, um, with Alex, Chapter 2 Vintage Co. So we're going to have a pop-up sale. And then I am going to have next week, all, all this is going to be in on uh, Instagram and all it'll be announced in my community tab too but I'm gonna have a vamp live vamp sale all um, buyers choice I've got a lot of cupies so it's gonna be heavy on the cupies I still kept out a few small Christmas vintage Christmas items and I'll show you more in that too because that's gonna be on Thursday so Tuesday Thursday Friday are my sales next week okay it's noon our noon bells going off. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. Thank you guys so much. Again, you're you're hearing me ramble. You're hearing me talk, talk, and I may not make a lot of sense. And you may be like, Misty, wait a minute. You just said you weren't going to do, and I changed my mind. Mark and I were going to work on getting the house cleaned up a little bit this weekend, but we're gonna we're gonna spend. We've got to spend the time. This needs to be our first priority. Is getting this. And I'm so excited. I, I really, really am. I'm getting, I'm feeling very um, encouraged and excited for, to do this again. So, and I think Mr. Webb would be happy. Why, right, Mr. Webb? He was here yesterday. I saw him peeking around one of the cabinets. But um, we're going to do this. So, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for being so positive and encouraging. It really does mean more than you know. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you again so much. Make sure that you're subscribed. I noticed you're, some of you are subscribing, but just go and check. Sometimes in comments I see if it says user blah, 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 blah. That is a kind of a sign that you're not subscribed. So make sure that you're subscribed. Go in and check. Am I subscribed? And if you are, hit, hit subscribe because it doesn't cost you any money. It's completely free. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go. I've rambled long enough. Thank you guys again so much. I really do appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Hello, friends. Thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come over and follow me. Also, don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at 1 o'clock Eastern right here on my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out the virtual antiques marketplace. It is an online antique mall. There's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers. So go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I will see you in the next one. Had a man put his hair in the middle. Red hot mama, red hot mama, but I have to turn my temper down.
girl, a wonderful girl, I'm the sweetest one in town. You can search for miles around, and no one like me can be found.